In today's video, we are going to discuss about Microsoft Fluent UI with React application. So basically, we will create a React application and then we will see how we can use Fluent UI over there in that application. If you have not gone through my previous video, which I have explained uh, what is a Fluent UI and then how we can use it, there are different ways that we can use it. And I showed you how we can uh, add in a HTML page. And in this video, we will see how we can use it with a React application. Now, if you are new to the channel, uh, I'm BJ and I'm a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You will get a lot of free videos, tutorials on Office 365, SharePoint, Power Platform, SPFX and all these open source technology videos, you will get it here. Now, let's get started. So for that, for that what we will do first is we'll create a React application. And for that, I will go here. Uh, you can go to any folder actually and you can create a subfolder over here. For example, in this case, uh, if you will see here, um, I will go to this one and then I'll create a folder here. For example, I will say Fluent uh, UI uh, Demo, something like this. And uh, this is the folder. And here we are going to create an application. And if you have an existing application, let's say um, you are uh, opening a React application, which you already have, then we have to run a command npm install at the rate Fluent UI slash React so that all the react things will be available over there and you can use it so let me open the command prompt here you can see here we are in this folder so first thing is we'll create a react application by using npx command so and then i'll say create hyphen react hyphen app and then you will give a app name here for example i will say demo uh, fluent uh, hyphen app so this is uh, going to be our app name and then you can just click over here so it will take some time and then it will create the application okay so it will take some time now meanwhile let me just open it uh, so if you'll see here I, by the way i have written a complete article on that how we can use it react and how we can use it with a non-react application fluent way everything i have explained here i'll upload this or i'll put this uh, link in the video description you can go through and uh, if i will show you uh, so if you are into uh, let's say fluent ui probably if you'll search for uh, fluent ui it'll come up with uh, this page and here we are using a uh, wave and if you'll go to controls or even if you'll go to uh, get started here you will get the reference how you can start with so uh, this is the command that i was talking about so npm install at the fluent slash uh, fluent ui slash react and this is we are going to use here uh, but in case you have an existing application that you are opening then you can directly run this command and uh, uh, as i said there are various controls which you can use so if you'll click on this controls tab you will see actually these are the controls that you can use in a react application for example if you'll say we will see here how we can use the button control and you can see here various buttons are there for example this one is a standard button primary button and uh, i will show you how we can use it but uh, let us check whether our react application got created or not so if you'll see here it is still taking some time so once you will create i'll come back so you can see here now our react application got created and you can see it is saying clearly you navigate to this folder because this is where our app uh, uh, this is created in this folder so i will just create over here cd and then uh, this is the folder demo fluent uh, hyphen app and now you can actually uh, do a npm start and then it will open your react application will open in the browser so let's do that npm uh, start and uh, now we can see here in the browser that our app will be running you can see here and we can see the default screen here so in this case the default screen will appear where there will be a logo and then there is a text and uh, you can see here now what we will do here is first thing as i said you uh, even if you we'll look at the documentation here you will go to the get started first thing that you have to do is you have to install npm uh, fluent ui like this if you are using with npm or if you are using with yarn you can use this way so uh, now i'll just copy this and we will uh, what we'll do here is i will uh, just stop it so you can just put Control c and uh, now i will just uh, paste this option here so i will just copy this again and you can see here and i'll click your enter so what it will do is now we can actually use the fluent ui react controls that are available on this application 
those things we can get it in our application so that we can use it and uh, to use it first thing is we will see here how we can use uh, the button here so i'll go to the controls and you can see here this is the button and the easiest way to use it uh, if you look at here there is a show, show code is there just click on this button and then it will actually show you how we can use it for example in this case if you'll see here import and then first thing is we have to import it from here from this office hyphen ui hyphen fabric hyphen react and then we can use it like this and you can see here there is a on click method and on on click method just a alert is showing and we'll do the same thing uh, so uh, what i'll do here is i will copy this okay before that uh, so you can see here now uh, it is installed uh, so what we'll do is, is i'll open this code using visual studio code so i'll just put code dot space dot and then it will open in visual studio code so you can see here now we have uh, the visual studio code here and this is our uh, file path you can see here uh, and you can see here various files are there so uh, if you'll see app.js file where the, from this actually the output is coming and here we will try to add our buttons so for that first thing is the import statement so if i will go here i will copy this import statement and then i'll go to the visual studio here and you can see visual studio code i will remove this too we need uh, let's say this button only and we will try to add the button here so next thing if you will open the same url it is showing you how we can take it so in this case if you'll see here default button text standard and then on click like this is there so you can see this is the syntax and uh, let me just copy everything here and i will put over here after this probably this link and let me remove these things so will not make things complicated here we will see a small example and uh, then next thing is we have to write uh, the function so the function is uh, nothing but just a uh, click function here the on click function which will just show an alert here so i will uh, just take an example here so i will write a function and then give the function name so in this case the function name is underscore alert clicked so you can see here and i will just put an alert here and i will say clicked now uh, what will happen is whenever user will click on this and then uh, the alert will come and if you look at this code there is nothing but this buttons that we have taken from our uh, from the site uh, from this uh, reference fluent ui so this is the button and this buttons will come like this uh, how it is looking over here this is how the buttons will appear now uh, what we'll do is if you will just save it then you can see the buttons uh, just to make a little more clearer over here i will just keep a line break uh, you can see here and uh, now if you will go here react so once you save this then uh, it will you can see here let me just refresh once so make sure that you refresh it so you can see here i refreshed it okay here is a uh, if you look at this actually there is a syntax error over here so let me just fix it and uh, you can see that in the command prompt also now we have to run it first of all then only we can see it we have already stopped it so i will put uh, npm start and you can see here now we have started it so it will open this browser localhost and we can see the output uh, since we stopped it to open the code in visual studio code that's the reason it was not running so you can see here now you can see these buttons you can see here there is a standard button primary button and if you click on that you can see you will be able to see the alerts things so this is how we can use a control in a react application uh, your fluent ui controls and there are a lot of other controls are there uh, you can see here buttons and checkbox all these basic input controls there is galleries uh, these items list lot of controls are there and in future videos we will see some of the controls how we can use it so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to the channel and you will get a lot of free videos on this thank you and have a nice day